Hi everyone, it's Megan Cox here. Today we will be exploring Keynote. It is an Apple creation app that allows you to create compelling visual presentations and graphics. To get started, open your Keynote app. Here you will find a dashboard of any pre-existing slide decks you have created. Clicking the plus sign and create will take you to a bunch of different options for themes. Themes will just kind of pre-select your fonts and your layouts. Here you of course can double tap to add text in the placeholders. You can do the same thing with images. So by clicking on an image placeholder and that plus sign, it'll allow me to add any photo or video from my camera roll, which is really nice. I'm gonna add a blank slide here. And um, what it will allow me to do is to add kind of my own layout and what to get that I can just simply click that plus sign at the top you have charts to choose from sliding gives you different formats through the little circles at the bottom you also have graphs again you can slide but at the top you also have 2d 3d and interactive graphs that you can slide through interactive ones are great because they allow you to manipulate your data and show change under the shape options, you can add a text box as well as basic shapes. One of my favorite features is the preloaded objects and other options they have in here. So you can kind of swipe through the categories or you can simply hit search and enter those. The final option is to insert photos or videos from your camera roll. Here I can kind of just drag and drop to move and adjust sides on my slide. If I want to format anything, you must first tap on what you want to format. So if I want to format text, I select this box, choose my paintbrush, and you can see different font styles such as borders, um, text size, font, bold print, all of those options. If you choose shapes and click your paintbrush, you have some of the same options, but you also have some other things. You can kind of see how it's altering my image here. Um, and photos, same thing. Here I can also add some borders and different things to customize it. If you tap on an object, whether it's a photo or text box, you also have the ability to link it and animate it. So this will kind of allow you to add some of those transitions in to kind of make your um, presentation more exciting. You can also do this to your entire slide. So if I kind of double tap on my slide to the left, my little thumbnail, it'll let me choose some options here. Transition is one of them. And you can kind of see how it adjusts the whole slide here. Highly recommend that you play with Magic Move. It's one of the best ones here. Um, one of my favorite features about Keynote is when you add an image, such as my Earth here, this beautiful earth, but that black background that you don't like. Under the format, under image, you can instant alpha, which removes colors. So I want to remove all the black background here. So I just drug my finger over it. And now I have a beautiful earth. And of course, I can tap again to animate it and add those kind of custom um, options to show some movement of my earth. At the top, you also have the ability to play your slide. Here you can um, annotate on it and add presenter notes. The three little dots give you additional features, such as the ability to send a copy and share it. Your three choices are Keynote, PDF, and PowerPoint. Keynote is going to be great if you have video or animated objects. Just remember you can only open this on Apple devices. PDF will be able to open on any device, but you will lose the ability to play video or animations. Um, PowerPoint will be able to be open on a PC, but you are going to lose a ton of your formatting, font, and placement of your items. And you can send this to any app. You can email it, you can turn it into Google Classroom or iTunes U or any other format you like. Everything is saving in real time but I can just tap up here to add my title so it's easy to find. And then when I click presentations, it remains on this dashboard for me. And at any time I can go back 
and continue to work on my project. Thank you for watching this tutorial on Keynote. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow us by clicking in the description below.